I have the three models, the mass families, and what I'm doing now is I'm going to the Analyze tab and the location. I'll type in the address of the house, uh, which is in Heather Street, Manchester, New Hampshire. I can find the correct location on the map so it knows longitude latitude. I can also look at the aerial photographs. You see that the house is turned at 30 degrees from north. And I can insert that image into my Fasari project so now I can see the context that I'm working with. Let me, let me drag the first option onto the site, put it in the approximate location. And now if I, if I look at it, I can choose to, to uh, analyze and get data from the, the mass model. So the way that I do this is that I, I push a mass floor, level one, through the mass model. And that tells it that I'm ready to analyze it. I'm just going to select the other two. I'll, I'll do them one, one at a time and remove the mass floor from them so that the only mass that has a floor running through it is the first of the three options. Well, on my browser, if I look at the, uh, the schedules that are there, I get an immediate re uh, readout on what the square footage of the floor is, what the volume of the masses was. And I've got a couple of extra columns in there where uh, I can let the user input the, the value per square foot for the building. So 1950, 1951, it was about $18 a square foot. And I can get the cost of my building. Now, if I choose the other two options that are there, and I push the level one floor through there because there's only the ground floor level, then, then you see it immediately updates to give me the the readout that I want. And I'll just use the same value of $18 a square foot. And you can see how the both the square footage increased over time and how the cost increased over time. The actual final cost was $36,000, but that was because of a lot of more expensive materials that were used.